Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to this video. It is Vegan Telly, and I am going to be making my maple walnut um, sausages, which I am kind of prepping for uh, my breakfast. So first, I have about two cups of walnuts. I've already boiled them um, on the stove for about two hours, I would say. So, um, as you guys can see, like I'm talking, but my background was just a little bit too loud because of my toddler. So this is why I'm doing the voiceover now. So I did have walnuts, I have onions, I have bell peppers. I also have a lot of seasonings. I also put in some um, black beans, some tomato paste, and a little bit of chickpea flour to kind of keep it all together. And then that's really about it for the ingredients. So now you're gonna be seeing me um, putting most of my ingredients in my food processor. So I got my black beans from Whole Foods. I think I got most of my ingredients from Whole Foods. So I'm going to put maybe about a half of a can um, or a little bit less of the black beans in there. And then um, process that up and then put in my onions and bell peppers in as you guys can see. So as you're mixing, you want to make sure that most of the walnuts and beans are mixed in. So you're just going to take a spoon, kind of push it down to make sure your processor is um, blending everything together. This is pretty tedious, so make sure you guys just don't have nothing to do that day. Um, it took me maybe about an hour and a half for prepping and then I did put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes um, as you guys can see there is my onions and my bell peppers I already cut them up so I did put them in my blender at first but I don't know like this is a new blender this is my first time using it I believe and it just wasn't chopping anything up like <laughs> like it was supposed to. I know later on I need to invest in a better blender, but um, yeah, so I'm trying to mix everything together. It's not working out. This blender I actually got from Walmart. I think it's a Black & Decker brand. Um, I use it for my smoothies. They are right for smoothies, but as far as chopping and processing, just make sure you guys have a food processor. To make it easier on you And also, if you guys feel like there's too much food in your processor, just even it out, take some out, process it, put it in a super bowl, and then um, do the other half um, just to make sure that everything is processed thoroughly. So here I am pretty much done and here is the result of that. So it kind of looks like meat, I will say. <laughs> so and then you're going to take all your seasonings. So I have some 
I believe chili powder, seasoned sod, onion powder, garlic powder, um, sage, um, some coconut aminos, some liquid aminos, um, did I say pepper? I have some parsley. There's just a whole bunch of ingredients that I will probably just list down below just to make it easier for you guys. Um, and also you want to make sure that you season your sausage pretty well oh that's my steak seasoning i kind of put that in mostly everything that i have um mostly everything i have mostly everything that i eat regarding like meat substitutes because it helps the flavor out um and don't be shy with your seasonings either like at all don't be shy And after you put all of your seasonings, I don't know if I said this, but I'm going to say it again. Make sure you guys taste it um, just to see like if you like it or not. If you need to add um, some seasonings or if you need to add a certain seasoning. Um, like I know that I think I've added a lot more of the like liquid aminos and coconut aminos to kind of give it that smoky sausage flavor. Um, and it's not going to do you any harm. Like, it's not raw meat. It's just walnuts and vegetables. So then I'm going to be adding my chickpea flour to kind of put it all together when I form the sausage. Um, I do put them in the oven like I said. I did not put them on the stove. I kind of let the oven kind of do the work to kind of keep it in a good shape. And don't be afraid to use your hands. If you get a little dirty, it's your food. Um, unless you're prepping for someone else and you don't feel comfortable with that. But this is only for me, so I had no problem with getting my hands a little dirty. And also showing my food some love. So 
so this is where i added my tomato paste i think i added about two to three tablespoons of it um i don't know what the purpose is of the tomato paste honestly i saw another video of a young lady putting tomato paste in her vegan sausage so i also did the same and honestly my vegan sausage came out really well um i probably would add probably a little bit more of the black beans to kind of give it more of a meat texture than like crushed walnut texture if that makes any sense okay so you're going to take your parchment paper and your cooking spray and you're going to spray your pan and your parchment paper to make sure that your vegan sausage does not stick while it is, is while it is in the oven that's a little tongue twister for me so i took about i think that is a one third of a cup um to kind of form my patties i did them pretty big because when I have say for instance my breakfast I'm only gonna eat one I'm not gonna eat two so yeah that's what I did So this whole um, bowl that I made, made about five vegan sausages for me. And you see, they're pretty big. They look like almost hamburger patties in a sense. So I did take them out the oven halfway through the cooking process um, just because I want them to get firm and brown on both sides. And you kind of want to be careful just um, because you have to remember this is a walnut sausage. So they're not like regular sausages. So you kind of want to be a little bit careful. So here is the finished product. They really look pretty good. I will definitely be making this again. Um, here I am, I'm about to try it because I was honestly so hungry. <laughs> I did not eat breakfast prior to this. I think this was probably like 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So it tasted really good to me. I will definitely try it again. And that's really it for this tutorial, I would say, this cooking video. So that is really it for this video. Vegan Telly is out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please stay tuned for the next cooking video. Peace.